Welcome to the Collections Manager. Here you can manage up to 20 different collections. Think of collections as little landing pages or storefronts designed specifically for a niche audience. So let's get started by creating a sample collection. I'm going to go ahead and hit the New Collection button and give my collection a name. I'm going to call it Camping so that we can target campers. I'm going to create that collection. Now the collection is made, but we need to populate it with some shirts. So I'm going to scroll up here and hit Add Items. When I do this, it's going to take me to the Sunfrog Shirts front side of the website. I can navigate categories, I can run searches, and when I do this, I'm going to now see collection with a plus button right here. This is so that I can add shirts to my collection. And I'm going to just grab a bunch of shirts that I like. And notice as I'm doing this, the spots left is changing here because I can have up to a hundred different shirts in a collection. So once I'm done selecting some shirts into my collection, I'm going to go ahead and hit finish here. Now that I'm back on the edit collection page, I'm going to scroll down here and change the layout by dragging and dropping and you'll also see that there's an add banner manager here. If I want, I can just basically grab some artwork, throw that in there. This would be a great place to have like a call to action or something for your consumers. And I'm going to hit update. And when I do that, let's go ahead and click on this link here and it'll take me to the collection as the user would see it. These again are great pages for niche audiences or, or um, user groups that you want to advertise to. And what's, uh, what's also kind of cool about a collection is because it's unique to you as the affiliate, you don't need to put your affiliate ID in the URL like you do on every other page. Now typically when you would link to a t-shirt or anything on Sunfrog, you'd want to add that question mark and then your affiliate ID number. But in this particular case, with a collection, because it's unique to you, we know who's sending the traffic regardless. So uh, you don't have to put it. It's always a good idea because it's good practice never to leave it out. But um, just so you know, you do not have to have question mark affiliate ID um, when linking to a collection.